Not too long ago, I shared with you my seven favorite fountain pens under $25. That was super tough, considering how many great pens were just outside that price range. So today we're going to ramp things up to $45 so I can shake up the list. Do you think any sub $25 pens can retain their spot on the list once we let in some new challengers? Let's find out. We currently sell the Kaweco Sport for exactly $25, so I didn't allow myself to put it on my less than $25 list, but I can now. So you'd be hard pressed to find any long time fountain pen user that hasn't at some point picked up one of these. And why not? They're affordable, they're super travel friendly, they're pocket size when they're capped, they're full size when they're posted. Here's the thing though, while I'm still going with the Kaweco Sport as my pick for this list, I was conflicted. The Kaweco Perkeo is only $17 and it's a full size pen that takes a full size converter, whereas the Kaweco Sport can take a little funky mini converter, but honestly it's best used with cartridges. So the Perkeo almost won here, but I actually think that portability is the aspect of the Sport that holds that value. And the Sport also has a much better color variety with fun limited editions showing up fairly often. The best pen on this list is undoubtedly the Monteverde Tool Pen from its svelte profile to its... No, I'm just kidding. We're not talking about the Tool Pen. The Tool Pen is not on this list. The Twisby Swipe is my favorite Twisby pen. I love to use it, I love to gift it, and I love to talk about it. Now Twisby's thing is definitely making internal filling mechanisms, pistons, vac fillers, you know, the pen itself holds the ink. I often, always, prefer the simplicity of the cartridge converter pen, and that's what the swipe delivers. This pen comes with one of Twisby's crazy huge ink cartridges and two crazy huge converters. One is a traditional piston converter and the other is a spring-loaded one. So if you're a new user, you can start off easy with the cartridge and then branch out and use the traditional converter and then go nuts with that spring-loaded one. And when I say those things are crazy huge, I mean, while they're essentially the same connection end as standard international cartridges and converters, they're wider. So they're like double the volume. So really, you get a ton of ink capacity even without the internal piston. All this packaged up nice and neat for less than $30. I like this pen. Retaining its spot from my less than $25 list is the Platinum Preppy. For less than 10 bucks, these pens provide a fan favorite experience that you have to respect. And they've recently started coming out with some fun special editions too. Now, since we're now in the $45 bubble, I can mention that you could also pick up the Platinum Placier, which is an aluminum pen that is sort of a beefed up preppy. It looks nice. It's more robust than the preppy since it's aluminum, but I still have to give the preppy the official spot because of what it delivers relative to its price tag. That's how it competes with these other pens. Bang for buck. One of the pens I immediately thought I needed for this list is one you were probably expecting, the Lamy Safari, but I decided against it. And that's just because the Lamy All-Star is better. Okay, this is just my personal opinion, but hear me out. When you're choosing between a Safari or an All-Star, you're more or less going between a $30 pen or a $40 pen, so yeah. 10 bucks might seem like a lot when it's basically the same exact pen, the aluminum all-star being more expensive than the plastic safari. Now, the shape of these pens isn't for everyone despite their popularity, but I profess that the aluminum of the all-star just, you know, collaborates with that shape more than the plastic of the safari. While the safari has more colors available, I find that the all-star's colors are pleasing in a very different way that isn't as loud, I love them both. It's easy to get replacement nibs for them. They're durable, and they've been a cornerstone of the global fountain pen landscape for decades. But the All-Star's better. If you watched my previous video, you know I had to put the Pilot Kakuno on this list. For less than $15, this pen offers fun colors, a durable build, and the option to get a Japanese extra fine nib, which is... Plus, what other fountain pen gives you the option to choose a facial expression for your nib? You can either get a... a or a, <laughs> it's like the pen is happy to see you every time you uncap it. It comes with a cartridge to get you started, but no converter, which is why I will need to add either the Pilot Metropolitan or the Pilot Explorer to my list. Hmm. This was tough. At first I had planned on doing the Pilot Metropolitan. I had it all written out, even though I personally preferred the Pilot Explorer, but then I thought, if I'm gonna die on the Lamy All-Star Hill, then why am I being all objective with this one? So, what the heck, I'm going with the Pilot Explorer. Yes, the Metro is metal, 
It has the same nib and is a few dollars cheaper, but unlike the Metro, the Explorer doesn't just have different colors. You can get a crystal clear demonstrator, a really cool black matte version, and then they have this rad glossy white that looks so good with the black accents. And you can also add the Pilot Con 70 converter to the Explorer. The Metro can't handle that. So both are great, but from what I see, the Explorer just brings more to the table than the Metropolitan. The Twisby Eco is a powerhouse of a pen for the price. The rose gold ones are up at $50, but the rest are down below 35, which is a great deal. The Eco, which is abbreviated from economical, has a massive ink capacity since it utilizes a beefy internal piston. And in classic Twisby fashion, the entire thing is built to be easily disassembled, which makes getting one of those deep cleans really easy. This pen is great for anybody who just wants to grab one pen and have it last a long while for you. And as an added bonus, it looks so good if you have a lighter ink sloshing around in there or one with shimmer. Without a doubt though, the biggest superpower of this pen, like other Twisby pens, is that it has a truly airtight cap. These pens are some of the very best in terms of capping reliably so that you can return to writing without the fear of coming back to a bone dry feed. This pen does its job, it looks good doing it, and it does it at an awesome price point. There you have it. All of these are excellent fountain pens that cost less than a random trip to Target to just look around. And I'm sure that at least one will be a great addition to your pen case or the old coffee mug on your desk. Please let me know how you feel about my choices here, but I'm particularly interested about your thoughts on the Safari versus the All-Star and the Metro versus the Explorer. I can be convinced, so state your cases. As always, you can see more videos here on our YouTube channel. Subscribe if you don't want to miss any new videos uh, and our weekly pencast. Have fun, right on.